<laughs> what a shit show the past week has been. All right. I my last podcast recording I think was like last Wednesday and my god, so much has happened since then. And it that's the thing too. Everything just happens so fast, all right? This podcast is going to be talking about Nick Merck's the Nick Merck's fi- fiasco, okay? And my opinion on the whole thing also being a father. New father but still being a father, right? Uh, Tim the Tatman is also a father too, but we'll 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 get into that as well. We'll get into his opinions and whatever else. I first of all, if you support Tim, Nick, Doctor Disrespect, their decisions, drop a like on the podcast, okay? Leave a like, and I get this out to as many people as possible because we need people that are willing to stand up to an agenda to some kind of whatever the hell is going on. With this LGBTQ thing, right? I'm not against that community. Do whatever you want. Leave the kids out of it. That is what Nick Smirk that is what Nick Merck stood for in that in that whole thing. That's it was as simple as that. There's no paragraphs, there's no videos, there's no podcasts about it. It is that simple. Let the parents, let the parents of the children, let me decide what my child gets to learn about in those situations that is the main point to that tweet they he wants to be able to have that control to share with his son daughter doesn't matter what all this stuff means because again this is all changing right we're getting people that are saying that they're fucking furries okay what they what you want to be able to do as a parent is be able to teach your child about these types of things Okay, we'll get into the tweets in just a second. Okay, what I do want to do is I do want to find Dr. Disrespect's video uh, about this project or uh, this tweet. Respect Um, Twitter. (laughs) No, let's go to YouTube real quick. Dr. Disrespect. Um, I don't know what to even, I don't even know what the hell to type into this. Dr. Disrespect reaction to Nick Merckx. I should type fiasco in there. I think, is he gonna, it's probably, I don't know if it's gonna show the whole thing, let's see. This is somebody that edited, so it's Daily Clips Central, let's see if this actually makes the, uh, whole thing here. You don't know the news, yesterday... Uh, it just blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. That Call of Duty, Activision, made the decision to pull Nick Merckx's skin. This is what sparked this whole video, this game. whole podcast, the short that, 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 that I made. Just, you know, just FYI. Uh, I mean, just imagine. I mean, Nick's, he's one of us. He's one of us streamers, right? I mean, to get your own skin and bundle and that whole f- collaboration on the biggest shooter franchise out there and be one of the first to do it in, in Call of Duty, that's such a massive accomplishment. Yep. You know? And he worked hard years and years. Years of grinding. Nice community. He's He's... A great representation of sh- of a streamer gaming, you know? And just like that, he made it, got it in there, and they pulled it down. Yep. That's a fucking tough one, man. That's a tough one. For what again? So what I got to do... What we got to do is uninstall the game. Yep. Number one. I mean, don't get a mistake in this year's Call of Duty is the worst in its franchise. <laughs> uh, but that decision by COD's PR marketing team. <laughs> uh, yep. I'll tell you right now, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to digest for the two time. So, 
I, I really, I really want you to understand something here, right? Like, this is an anti-LGBTQ. Just, just FYI, this, that's not what this is. That's not what any of this is about. So, if you are in the pride community, and you think that this is about you. You're selfish. Okay, this is not about you. This is about principle for the fact that not only is a lot of the people in the pride community, this is not directed towards ev ev everyone, but this is directed towards the people that try to push their agenda or push their beliefs onto other people. The guilt, re religion is guilty of this. Sports is, is guilty of this. Every single stream is guilty of this. Okay? But now the fact that there's large corporations getting involved in this and trying to stay on the side of... I don't even know how many people from the Pride community actually play and enjoy playing Call of Duty. Maybe it's a high number. I don't know. Okay? But maybe they're trying to stop some backlash that might happen to them. It doesn't really matter. At this point, right, Dr. Disrespect has made a very clear statement. And I, I have to. I have a, I, I have a short com coming out of me deleting... All, all of my Call of Duty games. I, I deleted even Modern Warfare 2, the original one. I That was still on my... I made sure I deleted that too. Everything Call of Duty, as of right now, is off my Xbox. Everything. So I'm not going to be playing Call of Duty. Now, them taking... Them trying to destroy SM2, which is another podcast episode, which you can see, I believe it's 9 or 8 or something along those lines... Th them doing that to SM2 pissed me off a, a, a lot. Now, th them doing this to Nick Merckx, that definitely was a straw, just the last straw for me. A, a deal breaker, okay? Call of Duty, Activision needs to get their shit together, okay? Because at this point, that one line is going to cause this much this much issues, this, much pro this many problems, then at the end of the day... What the fuck are we doing? Are we, are people really that sensitive to this topic? Like it's there. There are people from the pride community that call themselves a part of the pride community. There are, there are parents that are trying to convince the world that their children are like transgender when they're like three years old. Th okay, I don't believe that. First of all, this now we're getting more into the political stuff. But at the end of the day. What the fuck, okay? Your, your three-year-old's not going to be able to decide that yet, right? Uh, like, unless you're feeding them that information. Children are like sponges. They just, they absorb information. So they're getting it from somewhere, right? And that's what Nick Merckx doesn't want. He doesn't, he does not want, I mean, again, I'm not trying to speak for him. He already spoke for himself, which I'll bring up the clip in a second. He, he pretty much does not want that to happen. Kids are like sponges. They absorb information. So you're telling them that they're transgender or bisexual or pansexual, wh whatever new thing that there is out there, whatever pronoun is out there, that's that's you doing that or another person, an adult, doing that to a child. That's what we're trying to avoid here. Very simple. And if you are not a part of this community, you're just listening, I'm sorry, I'm not. that's not directed towards you, okay? What we're going to do here... Now we're going to find Nick, Nick Merckx's, um, Nick Merckx's response. Response to hail. <laughs> Nick Merckx's response to tweet. Let's, let's see if that comes, let's see if that brings some, something up here. Of course it is. <laughs> let's, let's, let, let's see if this is actual... If this is an actual uh, vi vi video or not. Stupid, stupid ads. I was going to say, is it just going to stop playing because I stopped I stopped the music? Oh my god. Don't want to get D DMCA'd, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. Actually looks kind of kind of cool, wh wh whatever that is. It's keep it fucking moving, man. All right? Uh, I'll say this. I saw a tweet, and I didn't like what I was seeing, man. Okay, it, it, I, I saw I saw parents bra brawling in front of a fucking school with kids. It, I just didn't, I just didn't, I just didn't fucking like it. 
You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand how that, that video would piss some people off. It pissed me off. Okay. Uh, now, I mean, full, full transparency, you know, I like, how do I put this? I got to be very, very careful here. I don't want to piss anybody off. I'm making a lot of people mad. More Too late. Attention. I mean, listen, you, we, my wife and I just had a baby. Brand, brand new father. You know, we, we, we seen these kinds of videos. It's, it's, it's sad, you know. Um, but her and I agree that we, we want to be the ones to talk to our kid about things like that. And drop a like if, I'm if you, to keep if it you really agree. Simple, just so we don't have to get too crazy about it, because there's nothing to get crazy about. It's just, it, it really is that simple. I think I just have a, like a bigger perspective on this now, being a parent, than I, than I did maybe two months ago. So, you know, the video bothered me, right? And that's, that's uh, I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. And it's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. You're just wrong. That's simple. I don't have any quarrel with anybody in here. I don't have any quarrel with people on, on, on the internet. Um, it wasn't an anti, I guess, gay gay, gay tweet. That wasn't what it was. Um, now, listen, if you have issues with me or if you have issues with that tweet, then, hey, listen, I'm down to agree to disagree. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. But if you think that I hate you, because you're, you're a certain way, you just couldn't be any more wrong. Yep. That's not the truth. I've said things in my past. I've done things in my past. We all have, okay? People grow. People get better. It's part of life, man, okay? And I've grown a lot as a human being. on I'm sure we all have, okay? Yep. Yeah, I, 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 I do not feel that way. I just simply feel that I want to be the one and my wife wants to be the one to speak with our child about stuff like that. And that that's was, it. That was, End. That was right the there. Tweet. That was the tweet. That's the truth. You can take the tweet if you want and you can spin it. Flip. It. You want to be able to tell your own kids about this kind of stuff. You don't want to have to have a teacher do that. Right? Now, there are, there are downsides and there are upsides to both of those perspectives. Okay? But mentioning it and bringing up the facts should be up to the parents, not to a teacher. If a, if a student has a question and asks the teacher about it, that is different. But you also don't want them to share their opinions on it. You want them to share facts, which also is another problem. A lot of times, people are going to share opinions and not facts. Okay? That's what this is about. That's what this whole thing is about. It's just about parents teaching their kids about these kinds of things. So, that is something that I really want you to understand. Nick Marks does not hate you. We do not hate you if you are in the gay pride community. It doesn't matter what community you are in. We do not hate you. We are gamers. We do not care about your pronouns, about whatever else. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Do it around us. Ask us to call you whatever you want. We are going to call you that thing, okay? We don't hate you, all right? We are here to support whoever wants to support whatever you want to do, okay? But do not force me into your community. Do not force me at all times to reinforce whatever you believe in because that's, that's your thing, right? Uh, let me play games. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me live my own life. Let me be able to tell my kids about your community and what you believe in based off of what you've told us. Okay? Now, I know this thing changes constantly, but but we won't get into that. All right? There's some extremists out out there that, that, that I've seen that are just, just frustrating to see and look at. But that's, that's besides the point. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the tweets themselves. And... Here's the original tweet, which everybody is going crazy over, right? Let me move my thing back here. 
So, Puckett, this happened four blocks away from my Overwatch League apartment. Um, Americans are, are in a sad place right, right, right now. Let people love who they love and live your own life. Simple as that. Anti-LGBTQ protesters attack pro-LGBT dem- uh, de- demonstrators outside of the Glendale Cal- California School Board meeting. The school board is voting on recognizing June as Pride Month. They should leave the children alone. That's the real issue. That is all he said. Now, I also want to point out that this this tweet is open to a lot of interpretation, right? So, a lot of people may have taken this the wrong way, and that's not what it was. That's the problem, see? A lot, we did this a lot. We, we take things, and we try to make it about us, and we try to make it so that it's negative. But in reality, that's not all the time what, what, what people mean, okay? That's what a lot of people have to understand whenever it comes to just, just in general. Like, this is not directed at you, and nor is it a tweet that's really here to cause problems right it's it's just it it is a it it is a statement that was made that's it now he has his own reasonings behind it but you don't have to make this about you you could just read that tweet and say they should leave the children alone that's the real issue yeah i mean the children are very important They're, they're they're our future so why so he's right that's the logical way to think about it. But then there's people that try to make it about them. Oh, he's got he's got to be attacking my community. He's got to be attacking me. Why is he saying these things? Stop doing that. Not everything in life is about you. Not everything in life is negative towards you either. Okay? Try to keep this as neutral as, as, as I can, looking at it from both perspectives. That's what I'm good at. Okay? Nick Merckx stated something. Who cares? Stop trying to make it about you. Stop trying to make it this big ordeal. But Call of Duty took it and made it, of course, their their big deal. Let me see if I can find that tweet, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, see if I can find it. I actually, I actually didn't find that before her. Yeah, do we remove Nick's Merck's operator bundle from the Model for Two store? We are focused on celebrating pride with our employees and, and 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 our community. But that's not what that was about. See, that's that. See, this this is the this is the issue here. See, this this is the problem, right? Like, we're focused on celebrating pride in our with with our employees and our community. That was not a dig at the at the at the community, or or your employees. That's not that's not what that was. That's not what that was. This is what I was talking about. They're making things about them. And that's not what this is about. This is really about children and being being educated properly. But instead, we're making this about us. Again. This is what we do as humans. We try to just find the worst in things. Especially nowadays with social media. That's not what's happening. Right? I deleted all COD games off the family Xbox. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. But uh, let me see. Where is the other one? So another thing that made me laugh was this, right? Me trying to live my my, my, my life and then the LGBT pro- propaganda just, just in your face. You know, and this is true. You know, and anyone can fight this if they want, but it not, this is the God honest truth right here. I see this shit all the time. This is this is an accurate depiction of some of the shit that that, that I see on TikTok, YouTube, what whatever. It, it's amazing. And then nobody nobody really talks about this from from there from the other side. This is this is a meme. It's funny as shit, but it's like this is this is kind of true. <laughs> pretty, it's pretty much true. You can't escape it. And finally, here's the here's the Tim the Tapman tweet. At Nick's Mercs has been my friend for four years. We went in get, getting our COD operators together. It feels wrong for me to have mine and him no longer have... Uh, fe- wait. <laughs> it feels wrong for me to have mine and him no longer have his. In support of my friend, please remove the Tim the Tapman bu- bundle. And this 
is is exactly the kind of thing that we need, right? Like, I shouldn't. Tim should not have to conform, not only to money, but to the belief of, especially since Call of Duty and the Pride community. I don't know if it was the Pride community, or maybe it was just Call Call of Duty internally, making this about being hateful against the Pride community. We shouldn't have to just take that and be like, yep, that's exactly what, what Nick meant. No, no, this is what Nick actually meant. I don't like that you decided this is what he meant by his tweet, his very simple two-sentence tweet that wasn't even more than, you know, 50 characters long. Right? And now I want you to remove my bundle because of the shit you're trying to pull. Now, I don't... I, I, this is sincere, right? I don't care about anything else. Like about, about, I, I don't, you could do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm a millennial. I don't care, right? I truly don't care. I am accepting of whatever. I'm not racist. I don't give a shit about anything else besides me doing my own thing, right? But when a gaming company <coughs> decides that they're going to remove a skin from a video game because of one sentence that could be open to so much interpretation that is that is a very erratic way of handling something no interviews were conducted nobody asked nick about what he was thinking when he made that tweet they just reacted instantly and that's a problem right that is the true issue here with American fucking society right, right right now, is that we are so reactive and so quick to react that we don't even ask questions. We just do the things that we have to do because we think it's right, even though, again, we're opening, we're leaving something open to, to interpretation that could be, that could mean anything. So that's what I really want to get across here, okay? If you think Nick Merck said something wrong, Somehow you're making this about you or somehow you're making it into a negative tweet. That could have been taken so many diff different ways and you made it in a negative light about what you believe in. So that's on you. That's not on Nick. That's not on Tim. That's not on Dr. Disrespect. That's not on me. It's on any other co content creator or streamer. Now, I'm going to stand by a streaming community because I believe that that was a very erratic thing to do and a very erratic thing to change. Very quickly, very quick to respond with a negative response. And that's what's going to happen now. A negative response towards Activision, towards Call of Duty. They think that they're going to be on the right side of this. I can tell you that, 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 that they are not. Because this is not a simple, he's right or she's right or he's wrong or she's wrong. That was a bullshit, b absolute bullshit way to react to this. Okay? And if you do agree with me, I want you to drop a like and I want you to share this with, with, with somebody because this is the God honest truth right, right here, okay? I'm not lying. I'm not, there's no, there's no fucking like prompt or nothing. This is straight from my head from what I believe in. You can take it however you want to, okay? I am, I am not here to hate on anyone. This, that's, not, that's not my goal. We need to start thinking about things before we do them, Right? If you, if you take this as a hate, again, on you, not, not on me. I'm not trying to hate on anyone. What we need to do is we need to make things right. And we need to, one, reinstate Nick Merckx's thing, his, his bundle. Reinstate Tim's. Maybe even give Dr. Disrespect one, okay? Because this is, this is insanity. It doesn't matter what part of community, what part, what part, what community you are in, Okay? We are all people. We are part of the same species. We are all people. We need to learn how to get along no matter what country you're from, no matter what beliefs we, we, we have. At the end of the day, if, if a zombie apocalypse happened, we'd all be screwed. Okay? Doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If, if everything goes down... Most of your money is probably even freaking digital any, 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 anyway. Like, um, a lot of my money is. So it's like, who cares? Zombie apocalypse happens. Aliens co co come down to come kill, kill, kill us all. We're fighting for our lives. We, we just got us. That's it. That's all we got. So treat, treat every day 
like it's your last. Okay? Okay?